Welcome to Clarendon, Iowa. I'm Alex List, and next to me is James Hash. For this Class 2A playoff first round football featuring the Des Moines Christian Lions 4 and 4 and the number 8 ranked Clarendon Cardinals 6 and 2. In store to us for tonight is a very heavy passing offense and a very run heavy offense. On the Clarendon side of the ball to be a very heavy run game with Dominic Posley and Carson Downey. Same with Noah Harris. On the Des Moines Christian side, it'll be Tate Platte. He, on the season, has 145 for 251 with 2,023 yards and 22 touchdowns. So a pretty big, pretty big heavy offense passing-wise for Des Moines Christian. Clarendon very heavy on the rushing side. Clarendon last week traveled. They were at home and won against Centerville 30-8. to eight. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty messy game there. Weather and rain and for t total first half. Yeah, rain didn't stop until maybe the ha second half, and Clarendon just dominated on the run game. Yeah, definitely benefited us as a, as a run offense to be able to hang on to the ball and did a good job of being able to pound the ground. We'll see tonight if... Dominic Posley and Carson Downey can get the run game started for Clarinda. Yeah, you know, it really starts up front with those guys. You know, we've got some some big-time linemen up front that helps, uh, you know, pave the way for some of those runs. So, On that offensive line is led by Jace Wilmus. On the defensive side, Wilmus also leads the defense with 42 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, and four sacks on the season. He leads a very, very experienced group of linemen coming into this game. Yeah, absolutely. They got a lot of seniors on that line. Have had a lot of, a lot of quarters and uh, a lot of experience, and that, that brings a lot to the table for a, a game that can have some younger guys in the backfield. Back deep for the Cardinals will be. Carson Downey and Caden Hawley. Caden Hawley on the season has a very, very good freshman season, averaging almost 15 yards per attempt on the return just on punting. Kick return is the same way, averaging 20 per return. Caden Hawley has been a very big asset for this Cardinal kickoff return and punt return, getting clear into some very good field position. See how himself or Carson Beck will be able to do on this opening kickoff. Yeah, it's, it's a big positive that uh, you get the ball first. You know, I think that's always a, a big thing. If Coach Hanifer wants the ball first, wants to be able to take it down the field and, and see if they can set the tempo right away. As it is a kick to Caden Hawley, he'll receive it on the five-yard line, and he'll take it to the 20. And it looks like he will be tackled around the 27-yard line. That'll set up shop for the Cardinals on their opening drive. Led by Noah Harris, their quarterback, on the season. Noah Harris has had 39 attempts for 39 passes on 68 attempts for 603 yards, seven touchdowns and three interceptions. On the ground, he's had 70 carries, 513 yards, and four touchdowns. Let's see what Coach Hannafin and his offense have in store for us. As I said, three wideouts to the near side. Harris in the shotgun. We'll hand it off to Carson Downey, and that will be a six-yard run to start off this class two-way playoff first-round football game. And in the Clarinda way, they started off with a run play. That'll bring up second and two for the Cardinals. Yeah, they did a good job of kind of spreading, spreading it out there a little bit and having trips to, like you said, the near side here and open up the middle of the lane there. And nice six, seven-yard gain to start and be positive the chains as Harris comes back out in the shotgun as he brings two receivers to the near side. Downey and behind them will hand off to Downey. Downey will have a lower shoulder there, but will be stood up and will be called as a... He didn't really get past the line of scrimmage there, and will bring up third and short for the Cardinals. Yeah, the defensive end right there did a good job of containing the play and not getting sucked inside with the linemen and... But a nice job. 
as that'll be a first down for the Cardinals after a determined from the officials. That'll be Cardinals' first down of the game with possibly many more to come. Yeah, you like that to start out the first drive there, a couple of plays, get a first down, uh, you know, clock's running, good chance to get yourself feet on the ground. Harris will bring his offense back out in the shotgun with Carson Downey once again in his backfield. We'll hand off to Downey, and Downey will get stopped short after maybe getting a yard or two there. And that'll add on two more to his night to start off as it'll be second and seven from the 42-yard line for the Cardinals. Yeah, we've definitely gone to the the weak side of the field right now with the runs, and uh, we'll see with their defensive ends if they can keep controlling the run on the side here. Trips to the far side of this field. Harris in the shotgun. We'll hand off to Downey. Downey through the middle will get maybe three yards on the play. Downey on the season has 116 carries for 973 yards and nine touchdowns. He's the leading the district behind, he's second in the district behind Dominic Palsley in touchdowns on the season with 18. This is a big play right here, third and third and five, third manageable for the Cardinals here. We'll see what they come out with. And Direct snap to Downey. Downey will turn his way into the first down. And that'll be another first down for the Cardinals on that very, very short third and four. Now the ball will be placed on the 49-yard line for, oh, it looks like chains haven't been moved yet, but it is a first down. Direct snap to Paulsley. Paulsley will get maybe Four yards on the play. Pawsley on the season has 163 carries, 971 yards, and 18 touchdowns. As I mentioned before, he leads the district in rushing touchdowns. He's also third in the state in 2A for rushing touchdowns. Yeah, you definitely got a offensive game that puts the ball on the ground and does a lot of running game. That's going to bring you a lot of opportunities to have touchdowns, and that's, that's where it shows there. See what happens again. Harris in the shotgun will hand off to Downey. Downey will get through the middle for some very big yardage. And that will bring up a very short third down for the Cardinals after that nice run from Downey. And that'll actually move the chains. That'll be first and 10 from the 41 yard line for Clorinda. On the Des Moines Christian side, coming into tonight, Kyle Friend leads the defense with 50.5 tackles, eight tackles for loss, and four and a half sacks. And he's recorded an interception as well. So, very big key asset on the Des Moines Christian side. Harris in the shotgun. We'll hand it off to Downey once again. And Downey will get maybe four or five yards, I'd call it, on the play. Yeah, they ran the ball. Right behind the right side of that line. You got Bryce and Harris. You know, big guys behind the line there. They're going to be able to blow some people away. And uh, good first down gain, five, six yards there every time is going to give you a positive wrench down the field. Like you said, the uh, offensive line, very big. They've been very big key factor in this Clarinda rushing offense this year. With three seniors on the line, Jace Wilmus, Eli Voorhees, Braden Oatler. As Harris is in the shotgun. Will keep it himself and will run for a very nice gain and will be tackled at around the 27 yard line. That'll be a fir another first down for Clarinda. This is Harris's first run on the night. As I mentioned before, Harris has had 70 carries on the season with 513 yards and four touchdowns. He's been a pretty key asset as well on this running game for Clarinda. Yeah, the Cardinals do a good job of. Mixing up who's going to carry the ball, kind of missing miss some directions, uh, you know, mixing it up where they're going to go left side of the line, right side of the line. But essentially they're trying to get north and south on the field and they do a good job of mixing it up and uh, trying to keep them off balance. 
Harrison the shotgun now. We'll hand it off to Downey. Downey will be break a tackle and will drag a couple players on his back and he'll get down around the 24 yard line as that'll be second and six for the Cardinals after that four yard run from Downey. Yeah, he definitely gained uh, two or three yards after that initial contact there with Landon Mum. You know, that defensive end right there is coming along the side there and doing a good job of trying to stuff the run, but uh, he was able to spin and get a couple of three yards there to get, get positive yards there. Harrison the shotgun again. We'll pitch it to Downey. Downey will cut inside. Downey's going to get some nice yards on this. He's going to keep fighting all the way down to the 10-yard line. That'll move the chains once again. What a nice run from Downey. Really sticking it to Des Moines Christian, fighting past a couple players and finally being brought down by maybe three or four Lions. Yeah, he did a good job right there of taking the ball and just putting his foot in the ground and getting north and south. And as we keep mentioning with that offensive line, you know, they've been making some big holes and they got to that second level there with the linebackers and, and uh, did a nice job of keeping his feet moving and gave himself first down. Let's see what he'll do on this first and 10 from the 11. Harris will take it himself. Harris gets a nice five yard gain there. Harris will be a big factor tonight, maybe coming in some different plays and maybe throwing the ball every once in a while to maybe mix up some of this offense that Clarendon has been running all year. Yeah, they did a nice job of kind of mixing it up right there and giving Harris a chance to get out on the left side there. Direct snap to Downey. Downey will cut up the middle and will be short of the end zone and it'll be down at the one yard line. That'll bring up first and goal for the Cardinals as the first down marker was on the one yard line. As was a direct snap to Downey. Downey will be into the end zone for a touchdown as Clarendon will take the first points of this game from Carson Downey, the one-yard touchdown. Yeah, they didn't mess around right there. They just got the play in and, and lined up and said, let's go. And uh, definitely got in the end zone there with a one-yard rush and uh, to add to the tally there of Carson Downey's touchdowns for the season. That's now 10 on the season for Downey. Two-point conversion coming up. Direct snap to Downey again, and he will jog into the end zone to extend this lead to eight as Clarendon leads eight to zero to start this first quarter off. There's four minutes and 36 seconds remaining. Cardinals lead at eight to zero. We'll be back after this. Here in AgriVision Equipment know two things about the future of ag. One, technology will continue to evolve, and two, it's still all about the people that make it happen. AgriVision Equipment is looking for those people to share in the excitement of driverless vehicles, artificial intelligence, drones, and even more John Deere innovation. If you're excited about what this will offer the ag industry, you might be a fit for service technician positions receiving a competitive wage, benefits package, job growth, and stability. Apply at agrivisionequipment.com slash tech. <laughs> Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa, as we're getting underway in this Class 2A playoff first-round football game. Clarendon took an early lead with an 8-0 as Carson Downey got into the end zone on their first opening drive with a one-yard touchdown. That'll be a good opening drive for the Cardinals. Kicking off now will be Jackson Myers. We'll be able to, after this kickoff, see what Des Moines Christian has in store for us tonight. Head coach Matt Daniels. As it'll be picked up, and Des Moines Christian will start their opening drive at the 25-yard line. Let's see what Tate Plata can be able to do for this Des Moines Christian offense tonight. It's a nice tackle there by Colby McAndrews getting down the field, and weaving in and out of guys and getting to his chance where he can be there and uh, spun the guy down. And it didn't much give him as much of a chance to get ahead steam there. Yeah, like, like you said, they... 
found a very big hole last two weeks ago to be exact. Clarinda led up two 90-yard touchdown passes against Clark. 90 yard kickoff returns against Clark that didn't really help Clarend out on the kick return side. Let's see what Des Moines Christian does to start. It's going to be a pass to the far side. And it will be caught, but number nine, John Doan, will be tackled behind the line of scrimmage, and that'll start this Clarend off. Defense off very strong. Doan on the season has 32 receptions for 449 yards and six touchdowns. Yeah, we did a nice job of containing the, the rollout pass play there and, and bringing him down behind the line. This is another pass, and looks like that'll be number 28. And that'll be a first down for Des Moines Christian. As that is... Bennett for the Lions. Excuse me, Brady Andrews as Des Moines Christian will come out back in the shotgun. Looks to throw again and does. And it'll be incomplete on the deflection there was Caden Hawley. Caden Hawley has also been a very big factor on this defense. He had an interception a few weeks ago that really helped to clear his momentum against Sheraton. Yeah, as a freshman, he's uh, definitely had a, a chance to get on the field and play, and, and uh, early on in the season was kind of rotated between where they were doing with the defensive side of the ball. I thought it will be a deep pass, and it'll be Caden Hawley again, and he'll deflect it again. As that will be another incomplete pass for the Lions, and it'll bring up third and ten to start this opening drive for the Lions. Very big situation here for Clarinda and their defense to maybe get this Lions offense off very early into this game. There's definitely a, a size uh, advantage there for the for the Lions on that side of the field with that receiver going against uh, Caden Hawley there, five seven freshman. You know you're, you're going to get that that size difference there. They're kind of trying to get after right now. As the Lions will throw it again, and it will be incomplete for another time, and that'll bring up fourth down for the, the Lions, and they'll Cardinals defense will get Lions off the field on their first opening drive. That's a real nice ball there. Uh, uh, Thrown by Platy, he, he did a good job of getting that one through a rocket, just right through his receiver's hands, so almost took too much off on it. So, good, good for uh, the, the Cardinals there, and get a get a punt. Let's see what Caden Holly has in store for us now on the punt return. It's a short punt, and Holly will pick it up at the 25-yard line, juke his way around to the 30. We'll get past the defender as flags are thrown. And he'll be to the 40-yard line, to the 35. He'll keep going. And he'll be tackled out at around the 30-yard line. Nice return from Caden Holly, but flags were thrown on the place. So we'll see what that's all about. Yeah, that was a very nice return. He did a good job of using his athletic ability to get himself open in the space. But I think we're going to have a, a flag on the Cardinals here, and it's going to bring it back. Yep, they're marching them back. So it's going to be a flag against the Cardinals here, and that's a – a good sign res uh, return wise, but uh, we're, we're still going to stick deep in our own part of the field here. Like you said, very nice return from Holly. And after the penalty, Cardinals will be on the. Let's see where they're going to mark this at. Well, they threw the flag at the 35 yard line there, so a 15 yard penalty. We'll start them at the 20 yard line on this drive here. So. Pretty much a uh, a big difference between starting on your own 20 and being on the opponent's 35-yard line there. So hopefully they'll be able to regain the ground here and, and get back after it. See what Clarence has in store for their second drive of the night. Harrison the shotgun trips to the near side. And it's going to be a run from Harris. Harris is going to get through the line and will be tackled after a six-yard run. Very nice opening play for this second drive. That'll bring up second and four for the Cardinals after the Noah Harris run. Yeah, that play definitely looked like it uh, had some trouble there at the beginning, a little bit of a broken play, and uh, still was able to get a positive yards out of it, which on first down is a big thing for us. According to in the past couple of games, broken plays have been their, been their story. Had a couple of 40-yard plays off of a broken play last week. 
as Harris is in the shotgun now. Trips in the near side, Palsley behind them. Be a handoff to Palsley. Palsley will lower his head and maybe get two yards on that play, and it'll bring up third and very short uh, with two yards to the stick. Yeah, I think they definitely want to try to open up the uh, the defensive there uh, with having guys on the, the spread spread offense there and uh, still try to run up the middle. And again, the landed mom's doing a good job of defensive end there, getting on the side of it and making good tackles here. Brings up a big third down here. One Christian has been able to stop the very huge plays from Clarna that Clarna normally gets able in this first quarter. They're normally like a 40-yard run from someone. But one Christian hasn't allowed that yet. Halsley slips and maybe may he will get the first down. And that'll move the sticks for the Cardinals. As ball will be placed on the 31 yard line. As we have a minute and 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Clarna still leads eight to zero. Yeah, it seemed uh, Paul Z slipped there a little bit, but was able to gain his feet enough to get himself across that line and get that first down and get a new set of downs here. As Clarna comes out in the I formation, it'll be a handoff to Polsley once again. Polsley will get a nice hole, and he will keep trucking forward to get the first down and two more yards for a 12-yard gain from Polsley. Polsley a very speed back compared to Downey. Downey's more muscular, willing to lower his shoulder Halsley has more of the speed and will be able to get to the outside and really make his way into the end zone. Not that Downey can do that too, but Halsley is more known for that. Yeah, he definitely took the ball and uh, took it towards the left side of that line with Eli Voorhees and Jace Wilmos out there leading the way and uh, give him a chance, you know, 10, 12 yards down the field. And when you have linemen down the field blocking, that's, that's a good sign. Back in the eye formation, we'll hand it off to Halsley again. Stutter stepped and got maybe five yards on the play. Six. It'll be second and four for the Cardinals after a nice, once again, run from Polsley. Yeah, you just mentioned how he's kind of your, your speed back. He's he's quick, but he was really patient on that play there and uh, giving themselves an opportunity to be able to kind of wait behind your lineman and uh, uh, get, you know, six yards there when you definitely could have gotten less. As Cardinal come back out in the I formation, single receivers on both sides. Be a handoff to Polsley once again, and he will be tackled at pretty much the line of scrimmage. Will not get anything there, and that will end the first quarter for us as Clarinda leads it 8-0. to zero. This first quarter, what have we seen so far? Very heavy run game from Clarinda. The one Christian, their first drive, couldn't really get much going as second second first down went straight four and out on three incompletions. Forced them to punt it away, and we're on our second drive now. Yeah, this is exactly what uh, the Cardinals would have been drawn up right here. They want to take a lot of time off the clock and, and be able to run the, run the football and uh, being able to take and manage a lot of the time off the clock there in the first quarter and be up at the end of the first quarter with the ball. Uh, that's a big part of the recipe of what they're trying to do here. So this third down play, though, is going to be a, a big part of what's going to go on here. Uh, you know, if you don't get a first down here and keep traveling down the field, it may not make uh, much of a difference. You know, you get the ball back over to the, to the Lions here. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a big third down play here. Yeah, it may just be the second quarter, but this could be a very low-scoring game. All points are necessary in this playoff game as it's win or go home from here on out. Yeah, that's right. You know, you, you got to win it tonight or there is no tomorrow. So you're right. You got to come out here and get the job done. And, and so far, we've been able to do that in the first quarter here. And 8 nothing leads. A, it's a good start. And it would be nice to get us down the field and get some more points. As Noah Harris will bring his offense back out for the start of the second quarter. Harris looks like it'll be a direct snap to Carson Downey. Downey will get the first down and more and keep moving his way all the way down to the 41 yard line. Very nice opening play of the second quarter to get out of the third and three situation. As you mentioned, very big play there for Clarinda and they seem to get it done. Yeah, that, that offensive line definitely was firing out. You know, they, they had control of the line right there and uh, 
gave Carson a chance to get someplace, and he was able to spin his way through a few tackles and a nice, nice gain. As Clarn will come out in the same formation, and it'll be another direct snap to Downey. Downey will make his way to – oh, the ball comes out. And not sure where the ball will end up. As it looks to remain as the Cardinals football. Very, very uh, not, not good to fumble the ball in just this second quarter or at all, but Cardinals got it back after the Carson Downey fumble, but very yeah. big mistake there early. Yeah, definitely uh, trying to reach for some extra yards and, and uh, got that thing ripped out, and we were lucky the Cardinals were lucky to get that ball back. As Harris looks to throw, it's going to be a pass to Andrew Jones. Jones will make the reception and be down at the five-yard line. Jones hasn't had many action the past couple of games, but he finally got it done on that pass play from Noah Harris. Jones on the season has eight receptions, 81 yards, and two touchdowns. According to your first passing play of the game, really got it down to the five-yard line, really helped him out. Looks like we're going to go again. As it's a direct snap to Downey. And... Downey will be into the end zone for another touchdown. That's his second of the night. As the score will go from 8-0 to 14-0. Yeah, they did a nice job of setting up that pass, that pass play there, especially that, you know, you get run heavy, run heavy, run heavy, and that's snuck Andrew Jones out of the, the tight end spot there across the field, and uh, uh, Harris made a nice throw and, and, and catch and down to the five-yard line, and they just had to hurry up offense to get in the end zone. Rex snapped to Paulsley. Paulsley to the outside and will be short of the two-point conversion. And our score will remain 14-0 to in the second quarter with 10 minutes and 35 seconds remaining on the clock. We'll be af back after this. For 30 years, Chat Mobility has provided Southwest Iowa with the latest technology and a high-speed nationwide network. More importantly, Chat Mobility provides real customer service that you can only get from a local company. When you choose Chat Mobility, we take the time to answer all of your questions and to make sure you're totally comfortable with your phone. You'll have peace of mind knowing that we are here to help with any concerns you may have going forward. Real hometown customer service only from Chat Mobility. Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa. My name's Alex List. Standing next to me is James Hash. As we're getting underway in this second quarter, Clarendon leads it 14 to zero after the Carson Downey double touchdown. He had a one yarder to, on the opening drive and on the next drive he had a five yarder to extend the lead, throw the Cardinals 14 to zero over this Des Moines Christian Lion team. Yeah, it was, it was a good drive, you know, to, to have the flag and kind of bring back the, the kickoff return, the punt return, and have to start our own 20-yard line. That was a nice, good 80-yard drive to get yourself into the end zone right there and, uh, again, run heavy offense with a chance to get a nice pass. Very nice for Clarinda on that last drive as Jackson Myers will kick it off once again. And it will be picked up at the 10 to the 30, the 35, and will be – tackled it around the 40-yard line, so very good field position for the Lions after the very nice kick return there. Yeah, that this sets them up really well for some good field position here to start their second drive of the game, down 14 to nothing. you got to feel like there's a little bit of urgency for the Lions here to, to get something going, and uh, this is a good spot for the, the Cardinal defense to get another stop and make a play here and, and see what happens, uh, especially with uh, early in the fourth, second quarter here. To drop down 14-0 in just the start of the second quarter is very big for the Lions. Got to be see some pressure on this drive alone just to maybe get back into this game and maybe score some points just to get some confidence under your belt. As the Lions offense will come out once again, trips to the near side. And a roll out to his right and throw an incomplete pass. Pass was intended to Jake Quistenmacher. Yeah, that time they went after uh, Carson Beckel's side of the field there. They kind of flip-flopped the sides of the fields as they were kind of going to the to the 
strong side again there as they try to go to the weak side earlier in the game. Most likely won't see Karsten Beckel be thrown to a lot tonight. Four interceptions on the season is really, really a big stat really to stand out for this Cardinal defense. Yeah, he's done a nice job of being able to guard the guys that they need to guard. So. As it'll be a screen pass intercepted by Downey. Downey's down to the 10, the 5, and into the end zone for a touchdown. That'll be a pick six for Clorinda. He'll extend the lead 20 to 0 off of a screen pass that was very short of the running back. Yeah, I think they tried to use the uh, pressure of our, the Cardinal defensive line to their advantage by letting them come through there. And uh, Carson Downey did a nice job of just understanding that that was going to be there and, and read the eyes of the quarterback and uh, picked it for the for the six. So that's, that's a big play defensively for the Cardinals right there as uh, they can extend their lead here in the second quarter. Very big play there from Carson Downey, really just getting this game started for Downey. Two touchdowns, that'll be his third one now. And Palsy will get into the end zone for the two-point conversion. That'll extend this lead to 22-0 to zero with 10 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in just the second quarter. I'm Alex Liss saying next week's James Hash. We'll be back after this. At Clarinda Regional Health Center, we're here to keep your student-athletes in the game. We have a team of providers ready to care for annual or preventative services, specialists trained in orthopedic injury care, dietitians to ensure proper nutrition, an athletic trainer, and a team of physical therapists ready with the latest rehab solutions should the unexpected happen on or off the field. Learn more about how we can serve your student athlete at clarendahealth.com. Welcome back to Clarinda as we're just getting underway in this second quarter. Clarinda leads at 22 to 0. Big star of the night, Carson Downey. Two touchdowns and an interception return just to be scoring this game alone as the score reads 22 to 0 for Clarinda. One Christian really needs to get something going on this drive. Yeah, throwing a pick six right there uh, puts a lot of pressure on the Lions to be able to turn around and get something going offensively here uh, to, to keep themselves in the game here. 22-0, to zero, that's a, quite the hole there. And uh, if you were to ask any Cardinal fan, I'm pretty sure that's the kind of recipe they'd like to have gone up here with 10-15 left in the second quarter to be up 21-0 to zero and have a defensive stop as well. As it will be Jackson Myers for the kickoff. Short kick to the 10, and the 20, and will be tackled at the 20, 26 yard line. That'll set up shop one more time for the Lions as it'll be a flag thrown. Yeah, it's a nice kick to, to get it down there and then minimize the return. We'll see what the flag brings us here. as it'll be an unsportsmanlike conduct against the defense. I believe it was Jace Wellness on the unsportsmanlike. Might have said something he shouldn't have there, but it'll cost Clarinda. And instead of starting at the 26-yard line, one Christian will start on the 41-yard line instead after the mistake there. Yeah, bringing up 21 to nothing right there. You want to make sure that you maintain your composure on the field. You know, you want to hurt your team by doing something that you shouldn't be able to do when the, the ball's not even in play. As Des Moines Christian will come out once again, looks to throw and does, and it'll be incomplete once again. As Des Moines Christian can't get anything going on this offensive side. Had two completions tonight. The third was an interception, but that was to Clarinda instead of his own team. Yeah, he's, uh, he's rifling that ball. He's got a good arm. He's got a strong throw, and his, his offensive his receivers are just not hanging on to it right now. In the shotgun once again. Looks to throw. Throws a nice ball, and it is caught. Um, yeah, that's caught for Des Moines Christian. That was Jake Christenmacher. Christenmacher was thrown earlier for a big gain and dropped the pass as that was Carson Beckel on the defensive side of the play. 
Yeah, Karsten was right there uh, with the coverage. She just threw a nice ball and uh, right in the basket there for the receiver just to take it and, and to make a nice, nice gain. As Des Moines Christian looks to throw again, and it'll be too high for Kristen Mocker. Definitely trying to get that slant pattern in there, and uh, they have a size mismatch here between the Cardinals' Holly and uh, the Lions' Brady Anderson Andrews. Excuse me. Yes. Caden Hall is only a freshman, and I believe Andrews is a sophomore, so two young quarterbacks. That is a deep throw, but it is in going to be incomplete. So that is number 18, the attended receiver, Landon Craven, on the play. Craven on the season has 29 receptions for 474 yards and three touchdowns on this Lions team. Yeah, he threw a nice ball right there. Uh, the defensive line definitely got some pressure in his face, and uh, I'm not sure he was able to really step into that throw where he wanted to. Uh, I think he'd want that ball back. Very nice throw there. Just wasn't just overthrown by a little bit. As he looks to throw again, and he'll take it through the middle, through the 30, the 25, keeps going, and will be tackled around the 16-yard line. That was a nice run there from the quarterback, Tate Play. Yeah, he definitely used the, uh, the defensive pressure again to his advantage by letting them all kind of get out there and spreading out the middle, and he just took off running. He's a good athlete. He's got good legs in him. He's got a good amount of rushing yards on the season as well, and uh, things break down. He's able to scramble. He's a big third down player right there. First and 10 for the Lions on their own on the Cardinals 16. Looks to throw, and it'll be caught by number 18, Landon Craven. Once again, he's on the play. As that'll move the Lions two and four, another first down. Ball will be placed on the two yard line. See what Des Moines Christian has here on this first and goal. Yeah, they're definitely uh, running a little bit of a hurry up, hurry up offense here at being able to get things in and out the field. Yeah, they'll need to be able to run this hurry up offense. They want to be able to get back in this game before they head to the locker room, as that'll be an incomplete pass as that'll be intended for Jake Christenmacher as it falls incomplete, bringing up second and goal. Yeah, it was a nice route by his receiver there and uh, just over the outstretched arms of his receiver on the right side. As we'll have, looks like it'll be a defensive neutral zone interfraction from Noah Harris on the far side. And that'll move the Lions halfway closer to the goal line on second down. It'll be on the one-yard line now. Yeah, being that close to the end zone, that penalty doesn't mean yards-wise, but you still don't want to give up anything right there. And Clarinda stuffs the Lions on the line. On the run there is Wyatt Odell. Yeah, Jace Wilmos is right in there on the play. He came off the edge and flew, blew that play up right away at the beginning of it. See what the Lions will do on this third down now. The bad situation to go on to not make it here on third down for the Lions. As it looks like we will have a timeout. It's taken by Clarinda and with eight minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the second quarter, Clarinda leads at 22 to zero. We'll be back after this. Sixty-two, coach. Sixty-two. First out. We're doing this so that the kids can continue to play. Like we used to enjoy playing when I was in high school. I understand how fun it was, and I want that same fun to be had by the kids now. So that's why we need more officials to keep these games going on.
sure what you want to do with your life? Feel like your job is at a standstill? Get your foot in the door with area manufacturing companies at Iowa Western Community College's SEAM program. Sign up now in the Center of Excellence for Advanced Manufacturing through IWCC. Classes are just two early evenings a week with holidays and summers off. Improve your current skills and learn new ones that will give you a new career or even enhance your current one. For more information on SEAM, contact IWCC's Clarinda Center at 712-542-5117. Welcome back to Clarinda for this third and goal. The run up the middle once again, and, and I believe that one Christian will be short once again. That'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, Braden Norway really got through the line right there and stuffed the run before it really got started. Being that it was third and short, that's one of those plays you draw up and knowing that you're going to have a fourth down play here. So they've called two plays within that timeout. And it'll be run once again and it looks like Clarinda will oh and it looks like an offensive lineman took the ball and scored a touchdown that was number 71 Nathan Faber looked like he might have taken the ball from his own quarterback that's some that's different yeah not sure exactly what happened right there I know the quarterback uh faked it to the running back and kind of followed the running back in there and I thought it looked like he'd gotten stuffed but uh, somebody came up in the end zone with the ball there and uh, scored a touchdown for the Lions which is kind of a big touchdown for them at this point in the game. As for the point after it will be good and that will extend the Lions score 2-7 as Clarenda remains leading 22-7 with 7 minutes and 47 seconds remaining. We'll be back after this. The Ice House Restaurant and Sports Bar is your home for food, fun, and friendly service before and after all local games this season. But that's not all. Stop in to watch a college or pro game on one of their 19 TVs. Plus, with eight different beers on tap, daily meal specials, a free-to-use party room, and plenty of seating, the Ice House in Clarinda just goes with your sports plans. And speaking of plans, make sure to like their Facebook page to be the first to learn about events happening at the Ice House in Clarinda. Welcome back to Clarinda, Iowa, where Clarinda leads it 22 to 7. I'm Alex Liston, and next to me is James Hash on the call. Clarinda leads it 22 to 7 after the last score from the Des Moines Lions offense. It was number 71, the offensive lineman. That was Nathan Faber. Seemed to take the ball from his quarterback to score. Yeah, not really sure what happened right there. That was a, a, a different looking play and uh, looked like the game, the game was stuffed and, and all of a sudden came out the end zone. And, uh, the Cardinal coaches are not real happy about it, so we're not sure exactly what happened from up here, but uh, nonetheless, it's 22-7. to seven. See what the return team will do for the Cardinals now as it will be kicked to Karsten Beckel. Beckel will take it to the 20, 25, and miss a tackle to the 30, stiff arm a man to the 35 and be out at around the 36 yard line. Nice return for Karsten Beckel there to really get this corner to offense, a very nice field position. Yeah, he did a nice job of some open field running right there, especially with being able to use his forearm to get, give him an advantage to, to push those guys to the, to the ground and give himself a nice range. See if the Cardinals can respond here on this drive if they just gave up a touchdown. See what Cardinal will do again. Carson Downey's been the man of the night, really. Just two touchdowns, just running this defense away from this Clarendon team. Harrison, the shotgun, will hand off to Downey. Downey through the middle and will be tackled at around the 42-yard line after a very nice six-yard play. It'll bring up second and four. Yeah, definitely took the ball and went up to the left side of the line right there. Uh, it's kind of the strong side of your, of your line. I mean, if there is a strong side of this line, I'll tell you what, it'll only cross the line. It's got some big guys on it, but definitely took the ball up there and a nice five or six-yard gain here on, on first down that, that keeps in front of the chains. After a nice run from Downey, we'll see what Harrison, the offense, will have in store. Trips to the far side. As it'll be a pitch to Downey. Downey take the ball once again. We'll get the first down. We'll juke his way through to the 45, and we'll be... Still going and tackled out at around the 39-yard line. Nice play from Downey. Just really just lowering his shoulder, getting through these this defense here. They're 
Lions can't really respond from Downey lowering his shoulder. Yeah, he uh, had a really nice block on the edge by Andrew Jones. He did a good job of sealing his guy on the defensive end the side of the, of the play and uh, was able to get into the open over there into the second level with defensive backs. And uh, he's going to outmuscle a lot of defensive backs with the, the time he's put into the weight room this year. See now Clarendon in the high formation. Jones to the near side. Harris hands it to Palsley. Palsley will burst his way through the middle and will be tackled at around the 34-yard line. That will bring up second and five for Clarinda as we are halfway in this second quarter with six minutes remaining. Yeah, the uh, Lions showed blitz there, and uh, they sent a couple guys through, and our offensive line picked it up, and he was able to get north and south and give yourself four or five yards. Uh, I believe it's second down. Yeah, second and five here, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. High formation once again for Clarinda. As receivers on the far end near side. Be a handoff to Polsley. Polsley through the middle. We'll get down at around the 25 yard line after a very nice run for the first down. Clarinda just moving down the field once again inside the 25 now. Yeah, another nice run. I mean, the offensive line is definitely setting the tone. Uh, in the trenches here and, and giving ourselves a chance and opportunity once they got the ball, they can make a cut and, and, again, get north and south and give yourself some positive yards. And every first down is a big play right now. Like you said, the offensive line just dominating so far tonight. Really just opening very big holes for Downey and Polsley. Eye formation once again. It'll be a small pitch to Polsley. Polsley will get down to the 16-yard line. And that'll be... Second and two for the Cardinals. Nice eight-yard run there from Palsley. Yeah, you know, Coach, Coach Hanfin's doing a good job here of, of mixing up the different kinds of, of run plays. Uh, you know, they'll go straight up the middle. They'll go direct snap. That one was a little bit of a pitch play. And uh, ultimately, the offensive line's making some nice holes. And, and again, we're getting positive yards on, on each play. Noah Harris does fake out every once in a while. We'll look to hand off to one side and we'll hand off to the other. Very nice quarterback form there. In the eye formation once again. Looks to throw. Throws it to Karsten Beckel. And Beckel will be tackled from the shoestring. And will be down at the five-yard line. That will bring up first and goal for Clorinda. Yeah, for not throwing the ball, ball very much this year, uh, Harris does have a nice ball. And he, he does uh, get it out quick. And that was a nice timing route there. As soon as Beckel turned around, that ball was in his hands, and he was able to make a move from there and get himself another first down and, and a goal here. Whenever Clarinda throws, it really messes up the defense. It really just depends on the wide receiver to catch the ball most of the time because Clarinda is known as a running offense, so when they throw the ball, the defense is normally confused. As it'll be a fumble, Harris will jump on it on the 10-yard line. Looked like it was a bad handoff, and Palsley just couldn't get the ball under control and forced the fumble. Yeah, Harris falling on that really uh, diverts a, a disaster right there, especially when you got first and goal at the six. So it gives you a chance even a second and uh, goal here at the 10 to uh, at least have the ball in your possession and, and not give it away there. Uh, that would have been a big play on the defensive side of the ball here. Clarinda comes back out in a three formation. It will be a direct snap to Downey. Downey will burst his way through and will be into the end zone for another score tonight. That'll be a 10-yard run from Downey. That's his fourth touchdown of the night, third rushing. Downey just really sticking it to the Lions. He's running out there with basically a chip on his shoulder. He wants to show them that he is who he says he is. Yeah, we're getting a, a display of what the Cardinals look like throughout the year here and and then the ball off to these guys that can run and, and run hard and get positive gains. And again, another touchdown, so another chip in there. And Paulsley will. Karst, excuse me, it was Karsten Beckel will get into the end zone for the two point conversion, and it'll extend this lead to 30 to 0 for the Cardinals. I think that might have been Noah Harris. Sure. 
That was a really nice drive right there, you know, uh, to, to give up a touchdown on the on the previous drive and, and get the ball back and start in positive gains there at the 36-yard line or so. Uh, that gives you uh, some, some, some positive vibes right there, and the momentum's kind of coming back your way. Sometimes when you give up a big touchdown, uh, uh, they drove the field. Scored a touchdown for us to be, or the Cardinals to be able to respond is uh, is a big time play there with three minutes to go here in the second quarter. We'll see what happens after the kickoff. Very big confidence booster for the Cardinals being up very big early. 23 points is the lead. As Cardinal come out once again to kick off the ball to the Lions. It'll be Jackson Myers on the kick. Yeah, Jackson Myers has had kind of a, the kickoff job uh, since since opening snap there on. The first game of the season, he's done a nice job. Uh, yeah, I know you mentioned earlier that there was a couple of kickoff return against Clark that uh, run back against him, but uh, at least done a pretty good job of being able to kind of place the ball and uh, get it in a position where we can go and make a tackle. See what the Lions will be able to do on this return. As it'll be short, fielded at the 20, and will be blown up. Let's see who that was. That was number two, Karsten Beckel. He's out there with the chip on his shoulder, too, not being able to get into the end zone there on that passing play. Very nice tackle from Karsten Beckel, and it will set up shot for the Lions on the 23-yard line. Yeah, I believe he's one of those uh, Jet guys that's on the outside there of the, the kick return uh, line, and he uh, definitely blew down the field there and made a nice tackle and uh, starts the Lions up deep in their own territory. See now what Platy has in store for the Lions. Now hasn't been able to get really much going tonight. That last play, that last drive really helped him out, and he'll be sacked. As that is Jace Wellness on the play. That's Wellness' fourth sack of the season. Clarence has just really been able to stop the Lions tonight. Their passing game has not really been able to go for the Lions as planned. Yeah, Caleb Shane did a really nice job there at the uh, outside linebacker position to kind of turn that play back in and uh, got to go ahead and welcome Jace Wilmus in the backfield. Caleb Shane, another freshman on the Cardinals defense and able to be a big asset this season as it'll be a very big run from Platty and it'll be tackled at the 45-yard line. Looks like it'll be a late hit against the defense. As it looked like Potty might have stepped out of bounds and was hit right as he was out of bounds. Yeah, the Cardinals had a number of shots there in the in the backfield and within the first 10 yards of that run, and uh, he just kept uh, trucking along there and, and got a good gain, and uh, they're going to add 15 yards to the end of this run. It's kind of a broken play there. Didn't really know what was going on for a minute, and then Potty just came out of nowhere and just took off as that penalty will extend the Lions' drive to the 41-yard line. We're now across the 50. Yeah, one of the things that we had talked about earlier uh, is, is how well he can scramble, and he definitely showed his ability there. Yeah, in almost every play tonight, he's been able to roll out at least to his right or left, as that will be an incomplete pass intended for... Brady Andrews, I believe. Yeah, another slant pattern there by Brady Andrews, and uh, they've they've definitely tried to attack uh, Caden Hawley here, and uh, at this point he's kind of been able to, to, to stand up on his own, and uh, hopefully they'll be able to keep getting him some help on the uh, top side of it. See what Plotty will do now in the second and ten. Looks to throw, and looks like the ball came out. Not sure what the play would be there. Maybe had forward motion of the arm. But it looks like the call will be a fumble, and Clarendo will pick the ball up and will be on offense once again after the fumble there from Platty. Yeah, initially, I tell you what, I thought uh, he was going to make a nice slant pattern pass there again, and I think he tried to bring that ball in, and it slipped out of his hands, and uh, Bryson Harris happened to be in the right time, the right spot there, and, and fell on it, and that gives us a turnover. It's a, it's a big play right there for the Cardinals with two minutes to go here in the, in the second quarter. Very big confidence booster to get into the end zone one more time for the Cardinals. As you mentioned, two minutes to remaining in just the second quarter. See what Harris has in store. Looks to throw. We'll throw it to Nolan Wyman. 
Wyman will get his way past the first defender and be tackled out at around the 50 yard line. As it'll be now second and eight for the Cardinals after a nice eight yard passing play from Harris to Nolan Wyman. Yeah, Nolan Wyman's had kind of a, a quiet season to him. I, I mean, if you had to pick a, a main receiver for the Cardinals, especially since they've got 26, 27 hard, 100 yards uh, a rushing, uh, you know, Karsten Beck was probably your number one. But Nolan's had a quiet season there. He you know, does a nice job of bringing the ball in with his hands and a nice gain right there. As Harris will take the ball himself, get through the middle, and will get the first down, but will be tackled very hard there on that play. And it'll bring up... First and 10 on the 46 yard line for the Cardinals. Yeah, it looked like they were uh, gonna run the same exact play there. They had Nolan just turned around to go and it uh, kind of a pump fake. He just took off running and a quarterback draw. Harris in the shotgun looks to throw. Doesn't have a receiver. Looks like he's just gonna run it himself. We'll get maybe the first down once again. Nice run from Noah Harris. Very good awareness on that play there. Saw the big opening and just took it. Yeah, definitely those receivers ran downfield. Uh, you get those defensive backs, so they're, they're backs to the ball. And uh, Noah realized he wasn't able to make a good, good reception there and uh, made a nice play. We do have a flag on the play here. And uh, I'm sure, sure I picked up what it was, but we're backing up here for the Cardinals. With the penalty, they back it up on the 49-yard line on the Cardinals' side of the 50. And it'll be first and 15. The clock is running. About a minute 30 left in this first half. Clarinda leads at 30 to 7. Yeah, this is uh, one of those spots where you've got to be kind of careful with a minute and a half to go. You know, you kind of want to go down the field and give yourself a chance. Nice play there by Nolan Wyman. Gets up field and tackled on the 30 yard line. Nice play there as Clarinda will take a timeout with a minute 15 remaining on the clock. Very nice play there from Noah Harris to Nolan Wyman to really get this last drive maybe of the half going. Yeah, uh, uh, Nolan did a really nice job there of catching the ball and then uh, getting yards after the catch. You know, they called that the yak, and uh, he definitely turned it, put his foot in the ground, and gave himself a chance to run up that seam. And uh, now, now you're in business again at the 30-yard at the line with uh, – you know, a minute 15 to go here in the half. you, you got a lot of options that you can kind of work with here. Four corner and another touchdown will be very nice. Just get into the end zone one more time going into the locker room. But just a very big confidence booster on the Des Moines Christian side. If they let up another touchdown, I bet you that locker room speech will not, probably not be the best. But Absolutely. You know, especially since the Lions will get the ball here to start the second half as uh, as we re as the Cardinals receive the kickoff to start the game. So if you can put another touchdown on the board here, uh, going into knowing that they're going to have the ball first uh, in the second half, that's going to be a big difference in play there. And, uh, and you're right, that locker room is going to be uh, uh, a lot to go on inside that, inside that room. Harrison the shotgun looks to throw once again. Rolls out to his left and will take it up the middle. Got a lot of yards, Nolan Wyman out there on blocking, and he'll get tackled around the 16-yard line after a nice 14-yard run. As that'll stop the clock as the chains move, and Clarna looks to run another play. Yeah, he was definitely looking downfield there uh, to try to get a, a, a deep ball and uh, get picked up the knife again on the, with his feet. Harris drops back once again. Throws it very short for Karsten Beckel. As it'll be incomplete, it'll bring up second and ten for the Cardinals. Yeah, he had a lot of time back there, had his feet set. Offensive line was doing a nice job of protecting him, and he just threw that one a little short, and uh, I'm sure that's a ball he's going to want back, and I'm sure that's a, a play that they're going to mark on the playbook to know that they can come back to you later on down the road. Yeah, it would have been a 16-yard uh, touchdown, and really Beckel was wide open pretty much, just very low pass from Harris there, and needs to get the ball up a little higher for Carson to get into the end zone. But it brings second and 10 for the Cardinals now with 51 seconds remaining. Harris in the shotgun, trips to the far side, looks to throw once again. Doesn't have anything. He's going to stiff arm his way past the lineman and will be into the end zone for a touchdown. Noah Harris on a 16-yard run. Yeah, what a run right there. Uh, he uh, stepped back. He wanted to throw a nice pass, and... Uh, 
didn't have an open receiver he thought he could get the ball to and stiffed arm the, the, the lineman there and just gave himself a chance to run hard and get into the end zone. And I'm sure he wasn't real happy about missing that, that ball in the, in the previous play and said, all right, I'm going to take this on my back and put ourselves in the end zone right here. Very good awareness there to see the big opening in the offensive line to get into the end zone there. As we'll go for two now. Direct snap to Polsley. And Polsley will be short of the end zone, and the score will remain 36-7. to Clarinda leads it in the, sec in the first half. 42 seconds remaining. We'll be back after this. business majors at Northwest Missouri State University gain the knowledge and the experiences of agriculture as well as business foundations. Northwest's faculty focuses on four core areas, agricultural finance, agricultural marketing, agricultural policy, and economics of agricultural production. Career opportunities in this field at Northwest include agricultural sales representative, grain merchandising, agricultural lender, operations manager, and claims adjuster. Find out more about an agricultural business major at Northwest Missouri State University. Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa for the 2A first round playoff game featuring the De Des Moines Christian team and the Clarendon Cardinals ranked 8th in the state. Clarendon leads at 36-7 with 42 seconds remaining in the second quarter as we're getting underway for another kickoff from Jackson Myers after the Noah Harris 16-yard rushing touchdown that extended the lead for the Cardinals once again. Yeah, that was definitely a nice drive right there to take advantage of uh, and capitalizing on, on the fumble. You know, we've got a possession there that uh, you take over and you got a touchdown. That's going to be another short kick to around the 17-yard line. It'll be to the 30. And he'll continue his way down to the 40-yard line. Nice returns from Des Moines Christian tonight. Just some of them have penalties on them and then move them back. But... Yeah, Caleb Bailey there on the reception for or the, the the return on that one. He's had the last couple of returns. He uh, looks pretty looks to be pretty stocky there, and uh, was able to break some tackles. Um, we'll see what they do here. Uh, we obviously know that uh, Des Moines Christian can open up the playbook a little bit here and pass with 35 seconds. That's probably a lot of time for an offense like they do, where they throw for over 2,500 yards. Yeah, like you said, throw the ball. I see what Platy will be able to do here with his. Top receivers, Craven and Kristen Mocker, as he looks to throw. And looks to be a John Dewan there on the reception for a first down for the Lions. It'll be 30 seconds remaining now in the second quarter. Yeah, they're attacking Caden Holly's side of the field there again. And uh, we've got the two safeties high, trying to keep it kind of, of a preventing the big play. And, and uh, they get out of bounds and stop the clock there on that offensive play. Platy looks to run and will be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And a great tackle right there by Carson Downey to come up and spy the quarterback there. Uh, that was kind of a drawn out play to uh, try to keep the defensive backs on the backside and they cut up the middle of it. And, and uh, Carson did a nice job of spying the quarterback and bringing him down there for a loss. After that one yard loss, the boy Christian calls a timeout and we will too. We'll be back after this. Uh, some of the things I've learned from sports are being a good leader, and that means not always just saying what's right, but showing by example. I've learned that being a good role model is so important because there's many little eyes on you, and they watch everything you do. So as long as you're doing the right thing, then they will understand that that is what they're supposed to be doing also. What I really have learned is strong leadership and self-discipline. Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa for this Class 2A playoff first round game. Des Moines Christian's down to form the Cardinals 36-7 with 24 seconds remaining. After that timeout from Des Moines Christian, we'll see what Tate Potty will be able to do with his offense. 24 seconds remaining. Second and 11 now. Potty in the shotgun. Looks to throw. Deep ball. And it'll be brought in. As it looks like that will be number three, Jake Christianmacher. Christianmacher has been able to get a few snags here tonight from Platy, as that'll be 
first and 10 from their own 15, and it'll be another quick pass for the Lions. That is Brady Andrews. And as one Christian will call another timeout with eight seconds remaining, one Christian is now on the seven yard line instead of the 40. Very, two very big plays there from the Lions. Yeah, they definitely came out of the time out there with uh, with two plays called and uh, knowing that uh, the deep play worked uh, earlier in the first half uh, as, as another really, really nice throwing ball uh, just uh, over the outstretched arms there of the defender and uh, brought it in for a nice gain. And then with the with the clock running down, uh, going through and, and starting out of the play with a screen pass and did a nice job of pursuing the ball there and making a tackle and uh, giving themselves a chance here uh, with only one timeout left here in eight seconds. Remember from earlier, Clarna was able to stop the Lions on the one-yard line to get, well, excuse me, that was, that's actually a lie. Uh, earlier on the one-yard line, the offensive lineman took it from the quarterback to get into the end zone on a very wanky play there. But haven't been inside the red zone since. See what the Lions will be able to do here. Yeah, definitely one of the strange plays I've seen in football in a long time. Potty in the shotgun, looks to throw, has a man, and it is caught as that looks to be number 29, Brady Andrews, with the snag there from Platty, and the Lions will be now at 13 points. Clarinda still leads 36 to 13. As we get ready for the point after. It is up and good. Clarinda leads it 36 to 14 with four seconds remaining in just the first half. Nice first half from Clarinda so far, just running the ball down the Lions. Just really physical football from Clarinda. Yeah, they, uh, they responded right there on that drive. Uh, they, they ran a play that they've kind of run a couple of times in that first half uh, to the <laughs> receiver on the outside and uh, ran, the, uh, ran the McAndrews underneath it and uh, uh, was open under underneath. You know, that's a big response for the Lions right there, especially since they're uh, going to get the ball first in the second half. You know, to be able to score and put some, some points up there, uh, that, that's going to change how the locker room is, as you were talking about earlier, uh, going in, knowing they're going to have the ball coming out and, and – uh, uh, unless there's something drastically happens here in the last four seconds on the kick return, uh, this should be about where we're at. Like you said, they get the ball to open the half to score here and score once again when they open the half. They'll be right back in this game. It'll be a two-score two football game. As the Lions kick off to the end zone, and it'll be a touchback after a very huge kick from the Lions as it'll be first and 10 for the Cardinals with four seconds remaining in this first half. See what Clarna plans to do here, if they'll just shut the door in the first half or maybe throw one up, see what happens. Yeah, you never know what happens there. Again, we're a, or Clarendon is a heavy run team, and uh, with four seconds to go on you're up pretty heavily, uh, you, you don't want to give yourself an opportunity to, to give away another touchdown or another score or, or have something happen drastically that uh, you're not going into the, the locker room feeling the way that you want to. As Harris will take a kneel, and that'll take us to halftime. Clarence leads at 36 to 14 after a very huge first half from Carson Downey on the Cardinals side with four touchdowns, three rushing, and a pick six. Very big offense of side for the Cardinals in this first half. See what they have in store for the second half as the Lions couldn't really get anything going until the end to really yeah. get 14 points on the scoreboard. Yeah, the Cardinals have definitely done what they uh, were coming out here to do. Uh, their, their game plan is to, to, to pound the ground and, and get the ball north and south and get yourself in the end zone. And uh, the Cardinals with 36 points in the first half, you, you got to feel pretty happy about that. Uh, on the flip side of that, though, as you mentioned there, that uh, the Lions, you know, the, the two drives that they've scored, they've looked really, really good on those drives. Uh, it's the other two drives, uh, you know, the pick six or, or the fumble that they've kind of shot themselves in the foot when it comes to being able to offensively. So hopefully we, uh, uh, the Cardinals here can, can get into the half, 
get some fluids and uh, come out here in the second half and, and play defense right away uh, because uh, if they score a touchdown here at the beginning of this third quarter, it could definitely change the facet of this game going down the road here. Yeah, as that'll do it for us for halftime, and we'll be back after this very short 15-minute break. As you said, the Lions will be receiving. We'll be back after this halftime.
Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa for the second half of this Class 2A first round playoff game. Clarendon dominated in the first half with Carson Downey scoring four touchdowns, three on the ground, one a pick six. Clarendon leads 36 to 14 as we're getting underway as the Lions will receive the opening kickoff of the second half. See what Tate Platty will have in store for the Lions as it looks to get underway after a scoring drive to end the half. Yeah, definitely getting that uh, score there at the end of the half. It's, it's got to help some momentum for the Lions there. It's still a decent lead for the Cardinals, but uh, uh, feel a little better about coming out here in the second half, especially if they can get something going and score. Uh, gives them kind of a chance when we go there. So let's we'll see how they respond here in the second half, and, and hopefully the defense comes out refreshed. As Jackson Miles will kick off for the Cardinals, and it'll be a deep kick, and It'll be picked up around the five-yard line. And he'll get around to the, looks to be the 15-yard line, 16-yard line for the Lions to start their opening drive of this second half. Good special teams play from the Cardinals there to really set the Lions up for a very bad field position to start off this second half. Not a good way to start for Des Moines Christian. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good kick there by Jackson Myers to uh, um, you know make them have to go get the ball and, and, and pick it up and then take off running, and, and the Cardinals uh, did a good job of being able to pursue the ball. He broke a couple of tackles, but uh, wasn't able to break them all. As Potty being the shotgun, really showed his arm in the first half, and we'll do it once again as it'll be a incomplete pass to number nine, John Doan. Doan in the first half had a nice grab, went for a – first down and a couple more and haven't really seen anything since from Doan. Yeah, they really attacked the uh, the weak side of the field there and uh, again at, at Caden Holly, I know we've called his name a handful of times here tonight and he's uh, he's been able to stand up to his own here a little bit and, and we'll see what happens. As that'll be a big throw to the 45 yard line once again that was John Doan from number 15 Tate Platty. Potty really throwing the arm there, and one Christian really moving the ball downfield to start it early in this second half. Yeah, Doan did a nice job of double moving right there and getting to the inside of that, that the defensive back, and uh, another really, really nice throw by Potty and, and uh, made, a good, made a good play there. As Potty will target John Doan again, it'll be incomplete to bring up second and 10 for the Lions. As you mentioned earlier, they're really – Bringing it to the weak side, Caden Hawley there, the freshman. Don't really want to throw, the, throw it to the opposite side of the field with Karsten Beckel over there, clearing his top wide receiver, and he leads the team in interceptions with four on the season. So it really shows that Karsten Beckel really has a big impact on the defensive side for the Cardinals as well. As Platy will roll out to his right, and flags thrown, and it is an eight-yard Pass completed to number five, Cooper. Oh, that was number five, Shaden Reigns, the junior. That's Reigns' first catch of the night. The penalty on the play will be roughing the passer against the defense, and that'll be 15 yards added to the play. Yeah, the Cardinals definitely got some pressure in the backfield there, and uh, as he let go of the ball, uh, hit him a little late there, and uh, going to call the flag there for the, the roughing the passer. Gives him a free 15. It's got to be rough for the Cardinals. Lions really just moving down this field as the opening drive for the Lions has gone the way they planned it, most likely, as they're on the other side of the 50 within the first minute of this half, and that'll be picked up once again. And that was number three, Jake Kristenmacher. Kristenmacher really had his name said a couple times in the first half, had a couple nice plays, targeted him a couple times. but Yeah, they definitely uh, had a couple of nice long passes. Uh, they may be trying to draw that one up again or uh, you know, with, the, with the quick out. You, you don't know how that's going to go. There's a double move. And uh, his body will be sacked in the backfield. Played nowhere there on the, on the sack. Uh, definitely was able to get through. They had a lot of guys in the backfield right there, and uh, uh, 
Carson Beckel didn't fight, didn't bite on the on the double move, and gave ourselves a chance with the defensive lineman to get through there. And uh, Braden Norway with the sacks. That's a big play there on third and long. That'll be Nowhere's third sack on the season, second on the team behind Jace Wilmus with five. As we'll see what the Lions will do now on this very third and long, third and 16. As Potty looks to throw again, and it's caught on the 26-yard line. I don't believe, believe that it'll be enough for the first down, but... Brings up a fourth down and short here, so it was a, it was a nice play and a good, good defensive cover, but uh, fourth down. See what the Lions will do here on their opening drive of the second half to get in the end zone. It'll be very big for the Lions to get back into this game here. Platty in the shotgun, looks to throw. Throws it to a wide open receiver, and he will get into the end zone. That's number 29, Brady Andrews. That'll add six points onto the Lions score as it'll be 36 to 20. Clorinda leads after a very nice opening drive from the Des Moines Christian Lions to get things started in the second half. Yeah, they drew up a nice play right there to uh, put that uh, linebacker Caleb Shane on, on a bit of an island right there and he uh, was able to get on the inside of the play. And point actors up and good and that'll Add another point to the Lions score as Clarinda leads it by 15, 36 to 21 with 10 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Nice opening drive there from the Lions. As yeah, that's uh, that's back-to-back -back touchdowns right there. You know, you go into the half of the touchdown and you come out of the half with the touchdown. And uh, uh, I don't care if you're watching Pee Wee football or NFL football, if you can score on uh, the sandwich part of the halftime uh, that, that gives you a lot of momentum and and uh, that that drive looked pretty good and it was helped with a couple of penalties there and but they had a couple of nice plays and uh, we'll see how the Cardinals respond here on offense the broadcast tonight from KMA is brought to you by the AgriVision equipment group and clearing the regional health center as the Lions will come out for the kickoff their third to fourth of the night and it'll be Caden Hawley and Carson Beckel back deep. Caden Hawley had a very nice return earlier on the punt, punt side, but it was called back due to a penalty, but really showed his, showed his speed there on that punt return. That was to be deep to Karsten Beckel. Beckel will take it at the 5, to the 20, the 25, the 30, and will be brought down around the 40-yard line. Nice return from Karsten Beckel. That'll be a 35-yard return for him. Really good field position for the Cardinals to start their opening drive of the second half. We have a flag here on the field, so we'll see what that brings up. Looks to be holding against the receiving team. And that is the Cardinals, and that will move them back to around the... See where they're going to mark it at. 16 yard line. And instead of starting at their 40, it'll be starting at the 16 yard line instead. Yeah, that flag definitely nullified a nice uh, return right there. And uh, we'll see how the Cardinals will respond right here as they had to respond earlier in the game. Trips to the near side. Harris in the shotgun. Be a handoff to Downey. Downey will. Make his way to pass the line of scrimmage, and it'll be a two-yard, maybe three-yard run for Downey. It'll bring up second and seven for the Cardinals. The ball placed on the 19-yard line. Yeah, definitely try to be patient with the run right there and uh, uh, let the block kind of get out in front of him. He was able to cut it back at three, three and a half, four yards there and, uh, and give yourself, again, a positive gain on first down. After a nice run there from Downey, we'll see what... Learn has in store for us next as they'll bring trips to the near side once again. Harris in the shotgun. Downey remains in the backfield. Harris looks to keep it himself. And he'll get the first down and a few more as he'll be tackled around the 29-yard line for the first down. Nice 10-yard run from Noah Harris. Harris had a couple nice runs in the first half. Hasn't been... Such a big impact, such as Carson Downey. 
But he has had a couple of plays that got him out of some key situations there at the end that really helped some awareness. He does have a touchdown in the, in the game on the ground. As you said, they had uh, trips to the near side here and uh, kind of spread up the, the defense here to the near side of the field, and so they, they took advantage of the, the weak side of the field there, and, and Harris was able to get a nice gain. As Klarner brings trips to the near side once again, be a handoff to Downey. Downey's going to burst his way through the line of scrimmage. It'll be a nine-yard run. It'll be short of the first down by a yard. Oh, and it'll be actually a first down for Clarinda. As Clarinda is able to continue their drive, starting with another first down on the 39-yard line. Yeah, that play right there starts up front. Uh, the, the offensive line is just uh, right now controlling the defensive line, and uh, he was already three or four yards up the field before anybody got to him, and, and uh, he rumbled and mumbled right through there and, and uh, onto another first down. Clarinda comes out again, the... Story of the second half looks to be three receivers out. And it'll be a run with, look to be Polsley. Polsley hasn't really had anything going in this game yet. It's been the story of Carson Downey. But in the second half, we'll see what both of these running backs have in store. Early on in the season, they definitely... Um, we're on the back of, of Dominic Palsley. He's had a big part of the season, obviously having uh, near 1,000 yards rushing in the season. And uh, I'd say he's a big part of this running offense is, is Carson Downey as, as well. So, With the game tonight, should add on to their rushing yards and should get over 1,000 for each of them tonight. With Downey to start the game, only needed a good 27 yards and Palsley needed 29 yards. Should be able to get that here tonight for their 1,000-yard season. Hit a flag there for uh, offsides on the defense, and so that brings up a nice second and short. Clarinda, very, very good opening drive so far, almost to, their, almost to the midfield. See what Noah Harris and his offense will have in store one more time. Hands it to Polsley. And Polsley will maybe get a yard there and bring up third and one. See what Clarinda will be doing on this third down on their opening drive. Yeah, that's kind of the first time uh, we've seen the Lions kind of get some pressure up the middle right there and uh, kind of blew that play up before it really got going. And uh, was still able to make a, at least a positive gain. It at least didn't lose any yards on that play. Direct snap to Polsley. Polsley will get the first down and more and be down at around the 46-yard line. Huge play there for the Cardinals to get out of that third down situation. To get off to, for the Lions to get the Cardinals off the field there would have been a big, big story, but wasn't able to get the job done and it'll be first and 10 for the Cardinals on the 46-yard line. Cardinals definitely have a, a pack, a short, short yardage package where they, they bring in some extra linemen, and uh, uh, basically just go right at you. Say, here, here, get, take, our, take our guys. And uh, so they, they fire off the ball, and, and uh, they can typically get five or six yards uh, with that package uh, on about every play. It's Harrison the shotgun now. I'll hand it to Downey. Downey will lower his shoulder and fall forward for maybe four yards on, maybe, excuse me, two yards on the play. And I'll bring up second and eight for the Cardinals after the Carson Downey short yard run. Ty Andrews was uh, in on the play right away, uh, number 10. He uh, definitely read that and, and uh, broke through and, and made a nice tackle there to keep him short. Yeah, he was right in the middle of that hole there that the offensive line made for the Cardinals. See what Noah Harris and the offense will be able to get done on this second and eight. Five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Clarinda leads it 36 to 21. Give you a run with Downey one more time, and he'll get down around the 38-yard line as that'll bring up third and four for the Cardinals. 
Another huge situation for the Lions once again as they're running some substitutes onto the field. And it looks like they're going to be a little not set for the play. And Paulsley will be able to get the first down in a little more. He'll be down around the 35-yard line. Some miscommunication there on the Lions sideline. Had to really get some different substitutes in. Couldn't really get them in and off the field in good manner of time. Cardinals did a good job of strategizing, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that, that short gain uh, offensive play book that they have. And uh, Coach Hanfin definitely took that advantage of having to make sure that they were trying to sub as well and, uh, and got them a little off balance and, and gave ourselves a chance to get a first down. Like you said, the short gain offense has really been a big factor on the play, the play time as we're now down to four minutes. Clarence has held the ball for a good six minutes now as it'll be a handoff to Dominic Palsy. Palsy has a big hole, and he's going to be out to the outside. He's at the 10, and he's going to be tackled at around the six-yard line after a nice burst through the offensive line. Made a big hole for, for Palsy, and that'll be... First and goal for the Cardinals after a huge run from Polsley. Yeah, we've talked a lot about uh, Carson Downey on, on the evening, and he's had a great night, but that's what Dominic Polsley will, will give you as well, his athletic ability uh, to high step a couple of guys and, and hit that hole, and, and, and next thing you know, he's down the field. Yeah, Carson Downey dominated the first half. I bet you one Christian went in the locker room saying, we need to focus on this, but now Dominic Polsley is going to get some touches, and he's going to be able to just run all over the Lions' defense. As he'll get the ball once again and will be tackled maybe a yard past this line of scrimmage and will be down at the four-yard line for second and goal. See what the Cardinals will do now here. Yeah, second goal here with uh, on the four-yard line. You'd think they'd come back with this package they've been kind of running with, with the short gains. See what happens here. Direct snap to Polsley. Polsley will get down to maybe the three-yard line. It'll be another yard play for the Cardinals. That's going to be a third and goal for Clorinda. Huge situation here for Clorinda. Needing to get into the end zone here. Big play there by the Lions. Uh, the Lions defensive line right there kind of blowing up that play and uh, we've had some success. Cardinals have had some success getting through that side, and uh, they definitely blew the play up there and uh, did a good job of containing. So third and, third and short here on the goal. Harrison Paul's in the – it'll be a direct snap to Downey. And looks like Downey will be short of the end zone. It'll be down at the one-yard line. It'll be fourth and goal for the Cardinals now after a huge stop from the Lions. That'll bring some confidence to their sideline for this big fourth down. Corn leads at 36 to 21. Past two drives. The Lions have been able to get into the end zone. Caleb Bailey with a nice tackle right there. Just filled the hole and took him on the nose and, and uh, basically brick wall under brick wall right there. Big play. Drag snap to Polsley. And Polsley will get into the end zone. As that'll be his first of the night. And it'll be a one yard score to extend this lead to 42 to 21 for the Cardinals. Yeah, they just kept attacking with that same uh, package right there, you know, three or four or five times in a row. And uh, you're going to have to stop that. And uh, eventually, uh, one of those is going to break loose. And, and uh, you see, got a seam right there, got up north south, got to cross that goal line again. See here what Cardinals able to do on this two-point conversion to extend the lead. Cardinals leads by 21 points over the Lions. And it's a direct snap to Downey. Downey will truck his way and will not get into the end zone. And the score will remain 42-21. to Cardinals leads it with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. We'll be back after this for the Cardinals kickoff. Learn the Regional Health Center. We're here to keep your student athletes in the game. We have a team of providers ready to care for annual or preventative services, specialists trained in orthopedic injury care, dietitians to ensure proper nutrition, an athletic trainer, and a team of physical therapists ready with the latest rehab solutions should the unexpected happen on or off the field. Learn more about how we can serve your student athletes at learntohealth.com.
Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa for this Class 2A first round playoff game. Clarendon leads at 42-21 to 21 over the Des Moines Christian Lions. So far it's been a story of the run game for the Cardinals. Dominic Pawsley just got into the end zone for his first score of the night. It was a one-yard play that Clarendon on their first drive really just took control of the clock and took off almost 10 minutes on the clock. And... Really big drive there from Clarna to basically take away the entire third quarter from the Lions. Yeah, Alex, you just said right there, uh, Dominic Pauls is getting in the end zone. Uh, kind of set himself up for a nice touchdown with a with a, a good 16, 18-yard gain there to get down within this 5, 6-yard line. And uh, Carson Downey did some of the grunt work, and, and Dominic Pauls gets himself into the end zone with another touchdown for the season. As Jackson Myers will be kicking off for the Cardinals. Nice kick to the 15. The Lions will take it to the 25. And will be pushed out of bounds at around the 27-yard line. And that'll set up shop for the Lions for another drive. Past two drives have been from Tate Platt scores, and they've both been thrown to number 29, Brady Andrews. Andrews really been able to get into the end zone tonight and get open for Platt, that last drive to start the opening opening drive for the Lions was a very big play for them to get some momentum on their offensive side. Yeah, going back to that kickoff there, it, it, nice job of containing and uh, Nolan Wyman you know, doing his job, staying, staying wide, uh, keeping, him, keeping himself, pushing him out of bounds, and uh, uh, now they have to start the 27-yard line. Let's see what Platty will do here now. As he looks to throw. Doesn't have anything, rolls out to his right, looks, and gets past the defender and will be tackled. And looks like the ball came out, but he was on the ground as it came out. As it'll be one yard gain for Tate Platt, and it'll be second and nine now for the Lions. A lot of Cardinals in the backfield right there. Uh, Braden Norwer. Probably ran 30 yards to make that tackle right there. I uh, was in the backfield and never gave up on the play and, and only gave up the one-yard rush there and, and brought him down from behind. So great play by Braden Norwear. Body again looks to throw. Has a man. That's once again Brady Andrews. Looks like that same play they ran last drive to get into the end zone. Just Plotty was able to not able to hook up with his receiver there. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to attack the middle of the field a little bit. You know, they've had some success going to the, to the corners or the post routes, and uh, so now you've got a couple of guys running through the middle of the, of the field, and I think they're trying to uh, attack the middle of the field now and see what they can get from there. See what Potty will do here now in the shotgun. Looks to throw once again, has a man, and it'll be incomplete. As that was number nine, John Doan, on the almost reception there. Kate and Holly on the coverage there. Like I said, they just keep attacking him, and he just keeps showing up. Fourth, yes. and, fourth and long here, so we'll see what happens. Kate and Holly will be back deep as very short second drive for the Lions there. See what Kate and Holly will be able to do on this punt return now. This is a short punt. Gets out around the... Looks like the officials will mark at the 42-yard line where the Cardinals will be setting up for their second drive of this second half. Yeah, Platy was back on the, the punt there. You, you never kind of know. Sometimes when you set your quarterback back there, sometimes you get a, a crazy play. You never know what's going to happen, and uh, he did punt the ball, and that one definitely hit the side of his foot. And, uh, not, a, not a great punt. It sets up the Cardinals in great field position here. See if they can attack and, and go on the run here. Almost a minute remaining in the third quarter. We'll see if Karnick can get into the end zone before the end of the th third. Running offense has been a big factor tonight. In the I formation. Hand it off to Palsley. Palsley will get upfield to around the five yard the five yard run. And it'll be up second and five for the Cardinals after a nice run from Palsley. You know, I sound like a broken record, but uh Another nice run where you get north and south and uh, getting five, six yards on, on first down. You can stay in front of the chains 
uh, second five, second six, second four, you can do a lot of good things when it comes to uh, offensively setting some things up here and uh, being able to run the ball on first down is a, a big part of it, and, and we're able to do that right now. As Cardinal come back out in the eye formation, bring a re receiver to the near side. Motions Jackson Myers. It'll be a handoff to Polsley once again. Polsley will spin his way through and get the first down. A six-yard run. And it'll be first and ten for the Cardinals on the 33-yard line. As that will be the last play of the third quarter as Clarinda leads it 42 to 21. As we'll get underway for this final quarter here. We'll be back after this. Here in AgriVision Equipment, know two things about the future of ag. One, technology will continue to evolve, and two, it's still all about the people that make it happen. AgriVision Equipment is looking for those people to share in the excitement of driverless vehicles, artificial intelligence, drones, and even more John Deere innovation. If you're excited about what this will offer the ag industry, you might be a fit for service technician positions receiving a competitive wage, benefits package, job growth, and stability. Apply at agrivisionequipment.com slash tech. <laughs> Welcome back to Clarendon, Iowa for this Class 2A high school playoff game. Clarendon leads it 42-21 to 21 over the Des Moines Christian Lions. So far in this game, it's been Carson Downey's football game. As four touchdowns and a pick six. Really big impact on this game he's had. On the other side of the ball, it's been Tate Platty and Brady Andrews. Two touchdowns tonight already. As... Clarinda will come back out on the offensive side. You mentioned Carson Downey there, the first half he had. Uh, that's a, that's the kind of first half you want to have when you have a, a team that can pound the ball on the ground. And uh, a big part of that is, you know, Dominic Pulse has gotten himself involved in the play here, and, and he had kind of a big third quarter there, had some nice runs, and he's had some nice runs here to end the third quarter, especially getting himself in the end zone. And it'll be a, it'll be a handoff to Palsley. And Palsy will get to around the 24-yard line to start this fourth quarter. And it'll be second and two for the Cardinals after Dominic Palsy run. They're really uh, run heavy with Dominic Palsy right now. He's doing a nice job of, again, putting his foot in the ground and, and just getting forward. Uh, the offensive line's doing a good job of containing the defensive line, and, and we're getting positive yards each time we're Touching the ball. Looks like Quinn will come back out in the I formation. Receivers on both sides. As it looks, Harris looks to throw. Has a man, and it'll be Karsten Beckel, and he dropped it. It looked like it'll be intercepted by the Lions. Looked like Karsten Beckel might have dropped the ball there. And it'll be called incomplete after the miscommunication there, but it'll be third and two for the Cardinals there. Very scary situation there for Noah Harris. Yeah, they're trying to attack there. You know, you run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and sometimes you can get the defensive backs to fall asleep. And actually, you had Karsten Beckel open right there, and uh, he went to dive for the ball, and uh, it must have hit the ground on his, on his roll and uh, popped up in the air. And, uh, yeah, you're right. It's, uh, you definitely cut your break right there, and uh, as well as your offensive run. The uh, football right now, you'd hate to give up a play like that. As corner come back out in the I formation. Be a handoff to Polsley. Polsley will find a small hole and will use his strength and get the first down on that third and two. And it'll bring up first and 10 for the Cardinals on the 19. It'll be inside the red zone one time more this night. Cardinal leads it to 42 to 21. Dominic Paulsy definitely looked like he was bottled up right there and uh, he just keeps his feet churning and uh, keeps his shoulder paddle pads level down and uh, got himself into an opportunity for a first down. Cardinal comes back out in the I formation. See what Paul will be able to do here once again. Now that it'll be a pitch to Paulsley. He'll get up field. 
It'll be tackled around the 14 yard line. It'll be a nice five yard gain for Paulsley. Starting to use him a lot in the second half. Really had Carson down. He just take the ball pretty much every day and every every play in the first half. And now it seems like it'll be the Dominic Polsley show in this second half. Uh, Graham Atrum right there had a nice tackle. Uh, I think if he doesn't catch him from the backside, that we, we could be talking about six points there again. So he did a nice job of uh, uh, pursuing from the backside and getting himself a tackle for the Lions right there. Um, but, yeah, you're right. Uh, right now it's uh, the ground and pound. Harris once again. We'll pitch it to Polsley. Polsley will get past two defenders and will be taken down at around the 11-yard line. And that will bring up another third down situation for the Cardinals. It'll be third and two. See what Coach Hannafin has in store for the Cardinals. Definitely bringing in their short game package right here. They got the extra linemen with the tight ends in there and uh, with Jackson Myers on the other side of it. It'll be a direct snap to Carson Downey. Downey will get to the outside, and he will be into the end zone for his fifth touchdown tonight. What a night from Carson Downey. That'll extend the Cardinals' lead to 48-21 to with nine minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. I tell you what, there's a lot of options to that package that they bring in on their short, uh, short down plays there, and uh, uh, a lot of direct snaps and... and uh, uh, spin move type deals and he got to the edge right there and as I mentioned uh, you had Jackson Myers there on the edge and he was able to seal his defensive end and, and uh, Carson Downey again is in the end zone. And it looks like it'll be a pass to Andrew Jones for the two point conversion which will extend this Cardinal lead to 50 to 21 with nine minutes remaining Corner leads it we'll be back after this. You go home, you'll feel good about what you did, and you know you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. Welcome back to Clarinda, Iowa, for this Class 2A playoff high school football game. Clarinda is really running away with it, leading 50 to 21 over the Lions after that last touchdown from Carson Downey once again. His fifth touchdown of the night, fourth on the ground. Nice 10-yard run from Downey. We'll see what Jackson Myers has in store for the Cardinals on this kickoff. I know you've mentioned a number of times about how much time the Cardinals are running off of the clock when they run in their run offense. And uh, they had the ball before the fourth quarter started. And here we are, another six minutes off the clock and, and another six points. That's a, that's a big part of the, the Cardinals offense that they've been trying to do all year. Last week, Clarinda started the, their final drive of the game with nine minutes remaining and was able to run 80 yards down the field and not score, but was able to take a huge chunk of time. And as the Lions will be down to the 29-yard line after a... Looked like Clarinda was trying to take him down but never was able to get it. Yeah, Kobe McAndrews made a nice hit right there. Uh, he just needs to wrap up. You know, that's one of those plays that... It looks really cool, but when they don't bring the guy out of the ground, it didn't look as cool. So a uh, nice hit by, by Colby McAndrews there. We just, just got to wrap up, finish the play, and, and uh, the rest of the guys pursuit, and they were able to push him out of bounds. That'll bring back out Tate Platty in his offense. Tonight's been Brady Andrews. It's been his top wide receiver with two touchdowns. He had a touchdown to start the opening drive of the second half and hasn't been able to get really much going since. Yeah, our defense, the, the Cardinals' defensive backs are doing a really good job of, of keeping that in play, and, and he's just missed a few shots as well. He's had some guys open. Now that'll be a fumble there off of a bad snap. Looks like the Lions will land on it, though, and it'll bring up second and 15 for the Lions now after the bad snap. I think even with a good snap, there's not much going on in that play right there. The uh, defensive line was definitely blowing things up there. Jace Wilmus right in there right away. Braden Norware in there right away. Uh, those guys are doing a good job of, of getting through the line and, and, and wreaking some havoc tonight. Let's see what Potty will be able to do here now. Another low snap. And he's going to be wrapped up by a herd of Cardinals. 
Looks to be number 53, Matthew Olson. He's had a, that's it, that's gonna be, I believe, his first sack of the season. The senior, finally getting in there for his first recorded sack. Yeah, the Cardinals sent uh, Jackson Myers on a little bit of a blitz, and uh, uh, with him getting there kind of early, had uh, Jace uh, Wilmus and, and, like you said, Matt Olson getting in that sack. As Cloudy will throw once again. That's a huge hit from Carson Downey. As it'll be incomplete. Wow, what a huge hit. Carson saw that one coming the whole way. He opened up across that that post route right there and uh, uh, said, I don't think you're going to catch this one tonight. And uh, right there on top of that pink ribbon, uh, put him down. Once he saw that ball being thrown, I bet you he had the biggest smile on his face just ready to blow someone up. Absolutely. That's fourth and 18, a huge throw. And it'll be, I think it'll be caught. And it'll be incomplete as he did not come down with it. And that'll be a turnover on downs for the Lions. And Clarendo will regain possession on the 19-yard line. Great field position for the Cardinals to maybe punch one in one more time. Yeah, Plotty, it was like a, an opportunity to try to get that out route there and, and uh, knowing they had to get fourth and fourth and long. Uh, again, attacked after Caden Hawley, and, and Nolan Wyman was over there, and, and they did a nice job of jarring that ball loose. As it did look like he came down with the catch, and uh, they obviously knocked it down, and uh, they just keep coming out, getting after him. According to his defensive backs have been kind of the story of the defense tonight. Caden Hawley has really stepped it up tonight as just a freshman in his first playoff game. Been able to get it done on the defensive side as Harrison the shotgun looks to throw. Has a man, that's Jackson Myers. And he will be short of the one yard line. He just needed a few more seconds in the air to be into the end zone there. According to Ran that play against Van Meter a couple times, the Jackson Myers pass over the middle. Hasn't been used it really since, but right there, we really open the playbook one more time to punch this one into the end zone. The uh, reverse to Jackson Myers once again, and he will get into the end zone for a touchdown as Clarendon will extend this lead once again, 56 to 21 over the Des Moines Christian Lions. Cardinals did a good job of setting up the play previous to that by, by play action. You know, you run, 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 and you can play action a little bit. and uh, You sneak out Jackson Myers there as your uh, tight end fullback area kind of on the side there. He just kind of sneaks into that, that area in the middle, and, and uh, he ended up being wide open. And uh, maybe a little bit of pass. I think Harris would have been happy with having a touchdown pass there. Harris will throw one more time. And it will be incomplete, and the score will remain 56 to 21. As Clarinda leads it with seven minutes and 27 seconds remaining in the ball game. We'll be back after this. At Clarinda Regional Health Center, we're here to keep your student athletes in the game. We have a team of providers ready to care for annual or preventative services, specialists trained in orthopedic injury care, dietitians to ensure proper nutrition, an athletic trainer, and a team of physical therapists ready with the latest rehab solutions should the unexpected happen on or off the field. Learn more about how we can serve your student athlete at clarendahealth.com. Welcome back to Clarenda, Iowa for the Class 2A first round playoff game. Clarenda's taking it away with the 56-21 lead over the Lions after the last scoring play from Jackson Myers. One yard reverse play to extend it. We've done a lot of talking about uh, Dominic Paulsley and, and Carson Downey and how hard they run. and uh, You can definitely throw in that same plane there, Jackson Myers. I mean, just stick his nose in it, just like he did there on that touchdown run. And, and uh, he's put a lot of time into the weight room over the last couple of years and put a lot of size on himself. And uh, he's a guy you can hand the ball and say, here, go truck somebody, and he'll do that as well. So when you've got three guys in your backfield that you can do that with and say, hey, go score me some, some points or give you five or six yards, uh, that, that's a pretty good positive hitting. And, and Jackson Myers, another one of those guys that uh, will do that. He's just a nose to the grindstone kind of guy. As Jackson Myers will be able to kick off one more time for the Cardinals. That'll be kicked around the 15. One Christian will take it to the 30. 
We'll get to the 35 and down at the 39 yard line. After a nice return from the Lions. Now to bring back out Tate Platty for another drive. Looked like he had a seam, kind of cut the middle of the field there, had a seam, and uh, Tate and Amy says, I don't think so, and took him right down. As Lions come back out, it'll be a 35-point lead for the Cardinals here. Yeah, with a 35-point clock or 35-point uh, lead, that's a running clock. So that's why the clock's still running right now, and uh, that's a that's a positive for for our ends of things. Is uh, hopefully we can finish up this game here. And Potty will come back out in the shotgun with three receivers to the near side. He'll step back. He looks to throw a deep ball, and it'll be incomplete. That was. Carson Beckel on the play there for the Cardinals. Carson Beckel hasn't been really, really been thrown to a lot on the defensive side. They know he's been able to lock down most receivers on the night. Yeah, Jake Kittenmaster right there. He's he's kind of their deep threat, uh, their th deep threat guy, and that ball kind of got up in the air and uh, tried to let his guy run underneath it and uh, just couldn't quite get there. Did a good job defensively to to stick with him and, and make a nice play on the, on the ball. Trips to the near side. Potty looks back to throw again. And they'll get the completion there. It'll be a five-yard gain for the Lions. That'll be number nine, John Doan, on the play. Yeah, jo Doan's definitely got some size there on the defensive backs. And once he gets his hips on the inside of, of Caden Hawley there, it's going to be really hard to, to, to beat that, that slant pattern. And, and there's another five- or six-yard gain right there. Potty once again, the shotgun. Looks to throw. Has a man. That's Doan again. And he will be brought out at around the 47-yard line. And that'll be a first down for the Lions as the clock winds down to the final five minutes of this football game. The Lions definitely trying to run uh, kind of a quick tempoed offense here down by 35. You got to do about what you can with only f about five minutes to go in this game. So uh, that's one of the things they're coming out here. They're trying to get some high-powered run-and-gun type opportunities here. As that'll be a nice play from Caden Hawley. He read that like a book and was able to get in there for the deflection and it'll bring up second and ten for the Cardinal for the Lions now. They just keep attacking Caden Hawley and he just keeps showing up. He's had a great night out there. Uh, I know he's gotten couple of big plays on him and, and things from there, but uh, that, was a, that was a nice play right there to break up a good out route. Really showed tonight that he will be a good defensive back in the years to come as that'll be Karsten Beckel almost came down with an interception. That would have been another one for Beckel, but Potty was not able enough to get it to his receiver, and that'll bring up third and ten for the Lions now. Yeah, Graham Atrium was on the Receiving into that one, and I'm not sure maybe they were on the same play right there as the ball kind of went up, and uh, they weren't really in the same area there, and Karsten Beckel just about came down with another interception. Potty once again looks to run, and he will be stopped at the line by Colby McAndrews as he threw him to the ground. And it was a very nice play from the Cardinals' defense, just really sticking it to the Lions with this 35-point lead to just – Show them who came up to really play tonight. Yeah, nice play by Colby McAndrews right there. That play was definitely designed uh, as they've thrown the ball, thrown the ball, thrown the ball to try to have a little bit of a quarterback uh, waggle right there and take off. And, and uh, Colby McAndrews spied it and read it and, and brought him down hard. As the clock will go down to three minutes remaining in this game, Platt looks back to throw once again on fourth and ten. Trying to make something out of this play. will throw it up. And he'll have a man, and he will be into the end zone. That's number five, Shaden Reigns, the junior. And that will extend the Lions' points to 27, as it will be 56-27. Clarinda leads with two minutes and 52 seconds remaining. Cardinals have a few uh, backups and replacements in there right now, and so giving them a chance to be opportunity on the field here with a playoff game and get a chance to play as well. 
And it'll be good, but there'll be a penalty marker thrown on the play there. Like you said, a couple extra guys for the Cardinals out there. We don't see Aries so often and get some nice playing time and really showing what the depth is of the Carolina football team. You mentioned depth, you know, and, and there's not a lot of guys uh, out for football in general right now for, for Clarinda, and that's just part of the – the phase of where we are when it comes to the numbers that we have out, but the, the guys that are out are, are grindstone, pitching the nose kind of guys, and, and uh, Coach Hannifin and Coach Williams have definitely done a good job of getting these guys to respond this year and, and have a great season and be able to come out here and, and play some good football and give themselves an opportunity to keep continuing to play. And, and as of right now, as long as this holds up, we'll get an opportunity to play another one next week. Yeah, like you said, next week, uh, Cardinal will be traveling next week. Not sure where they will be going yet. But yeah, once they uh, once they get all the winners of, of tonight's games, uh, and there's 16 teams left there in, in 2A, they'll they'll reshuffle them on, reseed them, and so then that uh, will will play a, a part of where it is that uh, that we that we go or, or how that comes out and uh, comes down to rankings and, and whatnot. And uh, you never know what happens when they start reshuffling things. Uh, the state wants to set some stuff up and uh, you know get the best matchups. And um, you know when it comes to strength of schedule, I think the I think you can argue a lot for, for Clarinda. They've got a really good uh, record, and they've played some really good games, and they've got a, uh, a lot of good things going for them. The win here will advance Clarinda to a 7-2 and two record on the season, as that is a very high kick, and it'll be a touchback for the Lions. As Clarinda will bring out their offense one more time, as it looks like we'll be having a new quarterback into the game. It'll be Cooper Phillips. Phillips has been able to get in a couple of games here while been up high against other opponents. Yeah, Cooper Phillips is the kind of guy that just shows up every day and uh, continues to grind and work hard. He puts himself in an opportunity to be able to play and uh, hits the weight room hard. And, and uh, it's a good opportunity for him to get a chance to play here with about three minutes left in this game and, and give some other guys a chance to play in this, this playoff game. See over, see over to the near side. That's Tate and Amy, and it'll be uh, – Cooper Phillips run through the middle, and he'll get maybe five yards. As the clock will continue to run. And there'll be an injured lion on the field. Looks to be really shaken up there. As the trainers attend to him, we'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Family, they're always there when you need them. We feel the same about banking. At PCSB, we believe in building relationships that never close. That's why we offer ITMs with extended hours and a breadth of digital services for your convenience. But it's our people who create a true connection with our community. We don't stop working for you when the workday is done. We're always your bank, and we're always working for you. PCSB, we believe in you. Visit us online at wearepcsb.com. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Clarinda Iowa for this Class 2A playoff game as we're in the final minutes now with Clarinda leading 56-28 to 28 with 2 minutes and 39 seconds remaining. It's been a huge game for Clarinda on the ground with four, four touchdowns from Carson Downey alone as that'll be a run through the middle there. That was Clinton Martin for the Cardinals. Nice run there. And it'll be third and one for the Cardinals after that nice run. Yeah, it's like the sixth or seventh guy that, that uh, Clarinda's run out there and hand the ball off to and, and give him a chance to, to run. And, and that just tells you where the depth are when it comes to the running backs and what they're able to do on the offensive side of the ball. As Phillips will bring the offense out one more time. High formation. Hand it off to Martin once again. And Quentin Martin will get the first down for the Cardinals, and that'll extend this drive one more play. It's a big first down. That should probably about do it right there, uh, going up there and showing some guts and, and getting a first down, especially when uh, you're up by a good chunk of points there. That, that gives you an opportunity to say, hey, we're going to go get a first down. We're going to smack you in the nose. And, and we've got a few more guys in here that haven't had a chance to play yet, which is awesome because those guys get an opportunity to show up and practice every day as well. And, and uh, now they're on the field for this playoff game. Phillips now in the shotgun in the I formation with Martin behind him once again. And we'll pitch it to him. 
and will be stopped short of the line of scrimmage and won't make it there. It'll be second and 12 now for the Cardinals with as we will go under a minute with after that last play. Huge game here for the Cardinals. Big confidence boosters going into the second round next week. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was Coach Hanvin's game plan. Come out here and, and uh, be smash, mo smash nose and, uh, and run the ball and, and score a lot of points. And uh, Coach Williams was setting up his defense to make sure that they could play against uh, Plotty, who has he's a he's a really good quarterback, really. I mean, he had a couple nice scrambles throughout the night, and he did a good job of passing the ball around, making some good catches, and uh, both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively, and the coaches of Coach Hannafin and Coach Williams did a nice job, and all the assistant coaches are going to part of that uh, as well. So, nice win, nice win. Nice win for the Cardinals. We'll find out probably tomorrow or Sunday where the Cardinals will be playing at next week, and that'll do it for us as Clarinda wins 56-28 to over the... Des Moines Christian Lions for the recap that'll be on KMA Sports Bra website. Thank you. I'm Alex Liss and with me is James Hash. Thank you very much for listening to us.